So here's a short video on how to do some of the stuff we're going to need to do to create our story in sound as the futurists would have done it, except we're using a computer instead of wooden boxes. So our first thing is I'm going to open up a blank Audacity document. And there's a couple of different ways to get our audio files in there. We can use the file menu and go to open. Or an easier way, if you can have your audio files window kind of situated so you can see both it and the Audacity window, all we have to do is drag a file into here. And that's all there is to it. Let's hear what it sounds like. Perfect. So my story is going to be kind of a starting your day kind of a thing. So I'm going to use this as after I wake up, I'm going to take my bike and go where I need to go. So this is the first file that I saw. So I only want part of it. I don't want the beginning. Let me play the beginning again. So I just want to start right there where the bike starts. So my first step is to delete this opening part. So I'm just going to drag this. And what I want to do also is I don't want to have a little click at the beginning. So let me show you up here in the select menu, there's something that says at zero crossings. That's when it's going to cross that zero line. So I want to hit Z. And it will adjust things so that it's going to cut off where it crosses the zero line. So once I select that, I'm going to hit delete. And let me hit the home key on my keyboard, make sure I'm at the beginning. And let's listen to what that sounds like. Perfect. Except for that click right in the middle, right here. So I want to get rid of that part. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select about that part and I'm going to press the Z key so it crosses over at zero and I'm going to hit delete. And I'm going to start a little bit before that to make sure it makes a nice transition. So let's hear what that sounds like. Can't even notice where it was. So let's listen to the whole thing one more time. Perfect. Except it's a little bit on the short side. I want it a little bit longer. Let's say maybe twice as long. Maybe three times as long, but we'll do twice for now. So I'm going to click over here in the, this left area so I, it selects all of the audio. And I'm going to do my first effect. I'm going to go over here and go down to repeat. All the effects they're in two sections, the top section are the ones that come with Audacity, and these are other ones that are available on my computer. Your list at the bottom might be a little bit different, but they're situated in the same way. So I'm going to do repeat. That's what I'm going to choose. And number of repeats to add, I'm just going to do one repeat so it plays twice. And I'm going to click OK. And now it's repeated twice. So let's listen to what the transition sounds from the first one to the second one. Can't even tell. So for the last time, let's play the whole thing. All right, so at the beginning it sounds all right, and at the end it sounds like it kind of ends abruptly. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole thing, and that's this button right up here. And there's the whole thing. And what I'm going to do at the beginning for about the first second, I'm going to fade in. So I select where I want to fade to be. And let's go to Effect fade in. 
And now let's go at the end. And we'll do effect. Let's stretch this out for about a second. Effect. Fade out. And now let's hear what that sounds like. Let's go home. Beautiful. So that's going to happen at some point. There's a bell here that I might want to use as an alarm. So let me uh, bring that over. Let's see if I can find it. So here's my list of sounds. And ah, I think it might be this one. So if I want to hear this, an easy way to do it without opening up is to click on it once and then hit the space bar. No, that's not what I want. Let's try this one here. I think that'll do part of that. So I'm going to bring this over now. And there it is. Creates a new sound here. I'm going to solo this. I can either solo this or maybe I'll just mute the bike so I don't have to hear it for right now. Let's go home. Aha. Uh -huh. So I just want to hear this part right here. If I select it and either play or I press the space bar, it'll just play my selection. Actually, let's zoom out or zoom in. And I just want, I think this section right here, let's hear what that sounds like. Good. Just to see. Let's hear this ding. Nah. This is the one. Good. So that's all I want out of this. And we're going to try to make an alarm out of it. So if I go to the edit menu, because all I want to do is keep this part and eliminate everything else. If I hit the delete key, it'll delete what I've selected and keep what I don't want to keep. So I want to do just the opposite. So under the edit menu, where it says remove special, I want to trim the audio. And that's also command T if you prefer using the keyboard. So when I click that, it only saves what I've selected. So let's hear what that sounds like. Perfect. Let's make it a little bit, let's cut out a little bit of this here. And I want to zoom in, make sure I have it right at the beginning of the sound. So there's a little bit right here. Let's get rid of that. And now let's hear it. Perfect. Let's zoom back out again. A lot of zooming. So I want to move this at the beginning and I want to move my bike a little bit later. So a couple of you have already used this, but right here is our toolbar. And this one in the middle of the uh, bottom row is called the time shift tool. So I want to, I can't shift a muted track, but I want to click over here and let's click my time shift tool. I've selected everything because I want to move everything. And I select the tool. Now I can drag it over. Let's have it down here somewhere. Then I'm going to take this here and I'm going to drag it over. Nice. Let's go back to my selection tool. Let's go back to muting this. I'm going to select everything and I want to repeat this. I don't know, maybe 10 times. Or, actually, no. Before I do that, I want to do a little fade out. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. So let's take a little bit of this and effect fade out. Let's hear what that sounds like. Perfect. 
Let's zoom out. Now, I can just click over here to select this whole track because that's all there is there. And now, I'm going to go back to my repeat, except we're going to repeat it maybe 10 times. Let's say OK. Perfect. Let's hear what that sounds like. Doesn't sound like much of an alarm, but we're not done. Next thing I want to do, it sounds kind of bland, or I want to add, give it a little bit of character. So I'm going to use one of the other effects. So here again, I'm going to click over here in the left to select everything on this track. Let's make this one a little bit smaller because we're not going to do it. Deal with it right now. So I'm going to go up to Effect, and I'm going to go to Reverb. And reverb is a short for reverberation. It kind of gives it a feeling of a bigger room. So we have a lot of things here. I'm not going to worry about too many of them, but the ones I want to be concerned with are the room size and the reverberance. So let me, uh, I'm going to move this all the way up and I'm going to click preview. So before you commit to something, you can hear what it sounds like ahead of time. So you can kind of hear what the reverb does, but I don't want that much. So I'm going to bring it down here to where it was at 18. Let's hear what that sounds like. A little bit. Let's make the room size a little bit smaller. See what effect that has. Let's bring it down to 30. Cool. Gives it a little bit more character. So let's say OK. And you can see the waveform has changed because it's taken into account the reverb. One more time, let's listen to it. Great. But an alarm bell goes off a little bit quicker than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make multiple copies of this and shift them over a little bit. So I'm going to make three more copies. And I can easily do that if I select everything that I want uh, to copy, and I go to, I believe it's the edit menu, yes, here it is, duplicate or command D. And it makes an exact duplicate of it. So what I want to do is I want to have this kind of repeat itself four times. And so I want to just click on this one right here, and I want to shift it over a little bit. So let's go to my time shift tool, and move it over Oh, about a quarter of the way or so. Now let's duplicate this one. There it is. Click on this. Shift this over to about halfway through the first one. If I'm not sure exactly where that is, I can move up to my timeline here. And I can see, oh, about we're halfway through that. And I'm approximately there, a little bit further. So let's move it back a little bit. Move back up here, halfway through the first track. Yeah, it's about right. So I want to go about three quarters of the way, which is about right there. So one more time, I'm going to duplicate. Click over here. Time shift this a little bit. And let's see what it sounds like now. Let's go back to the beginning. I can click up here, or I can hit the Home key. And let's see what that sounds like. Not bad, not bad. I might do a little bit more shifting. Whoops. Let's click over here. Move this down. Click over here, move it down a little bit more. Click over here, move it down a little bit more. Now let's see what that sounds like. Alright, sounds more like an alarm. So those are but a couple of the things we can do. And I would do more stuff here. Let's say I want to, let's shift these guys back to where this ends. And one nice thing about this version of Audacity, notice when I move this, it'll 
show me where it lines up with the end. So now if I play the whole thing, there's my alarm. Whoops, I muted it. One more time. And there it just kind of flows into one or the other. So there's lots more uh, effects that you can see from here. We used one when we did our shepherd tones. We used the sliding stretch. Um, we can reverse something. There's uh, other effects here that we'll talk about as needed. But this is what I want you to start doing to get started. Think about what your story is, which sounds you might be using, and we'll create our story in sound.